Meet Joe Rogan. He's a stand-up comic and also has a podcast on Spotify. Recently, Spotify has come under fire because of misinformation spread by Joe's choice of guests, including this guy, Dr. Robert Malone, who Twitter had banned for spreading misinformation. Although his Twitter is gone, there are plenty of anti-vaxxers with screenshots out there. In this, he's saying that young men are more likely to get myocarditis from mRNA vaccines than getting myocarditis from COVID itself. And, as evidence, he has linked a study. We'll get back to this later. But back to Joe Rogan. He had this encounter with Josh Sepps about vaccines causing myocarditis in young men. Or there's an adverse risk associated with the vaccine. It's like yes. a two to four fold increase in the instances of myocarditis. Yes, but you know what? Hospitalization. The, you know that there's COVID. an increased risk of myocarditis in among that age cohort from getting COVID as well, which exceeds the risk of myocarditis from the vaccine. I don't think that's true. I don't think it it's is. true. I don't. No, no, no. I don't think it's true that there's an increased risk of myocarditis from people catching COVID that are young versus increased risk of myocarditis from the vaccine. No, there is. There's both. Pro well, let's look that up because I don't think that's true. <laughs> There's both. Myocarditis more common after COVID-19 infection than vaccination. But is this with children? Uh, yeah, we're talking about young people. Men and boys aged under 30 after this is what it says here. With, with children is the issue. Well, no, we were talking about 15-year-olds. Well, we're talking about young children. Male so, yes, 12 to 17. 12 to 17, more likely to develop myocarditis within three months of catching COVID at a rate of 450 cases per million infection. This compares to 67 cases of myocarditis per million at the same time following their second dose of Pfizer. Yeah, so you're about eight times likely to get myocarditis from getting COVID than from getting the vaccine. That's interesting. Now, that, that is said, not what I've read before, but also it's like... When, even when we're reading these things, it's like, what are we getting this from? Is this from well, the VAERS the report? But even from the VAERS reports, when they report this stuff, it's like the amount of people that report, the, um, like it's the under-reporting. It was Rogan's opinion that it is more dangerous to vaccinate your son than if they get COVID. But Josh Sepps set him and his listeners straight. So then Rogan tweets this. At least he admitted he is wrong. But he couldn't leave it there. He had to place the blame somewhere, and that was the article he linked. So let's have a look at that. Well, at first glance, it looks like it backs what Rogan is saying, but it doesn't. It's saying that young men have a small chance of getting myocarditis from vaccines with a smaller chance of just catching COVID. It's about reviewing vaccine strategies there's no mention of rates of myocarditis from COVID. He blamed an article that simply doesn't reflect what he claimed. So, if that article doesn't match his claim, where did he really get that claim from? Maybe from Robert Malone's tweet. So, to review, he made the claim that vaccination is more dangerous than COVID for young men, got corrected, tweeted an admission he was wrong, then blamed an article for misleading him, which it didn't, but he couldn't let it go. Later that day, he does a backflip and posts this as evidence that he was right in the first place. Now, the link in his tweet was to a blog by Vinay Prasad. It's a type of echo chamber blog that has a paywall if you want to comment. Prasad also does videos like this one. Anyway, he posts a couple of graphs from a study. And wow, see there? It shows less risk of myocarditis from COVID. Rogan was right. Uh, I guess that's the end of the video. Well, not so fast. Let's see what's actually going on. To be clear, Rogan was right about the increased risk of myocarditis. And SEPs agreed with him. Or there's an adverse risk associated with the vaccine. It's like yes. a two to four fold increase in the instances of myocarditis. Yes, but you know what? Hospitalization. The... This is not new information and was reported on in mid 2021, some seven months earlier. The problem is this the report has been hijacked by cherry picking data to scare people into possibly not vaccinating. Prasad did it, Malone did it and Rogan did it. 
Remember the tweet from Malone? This bit is Malone's comment, and the rest are extracts from the study. He said, The risk of myocarditis is greater with mRNA vaccines than from natural infection. Well, that's a lie, and the study he's quoting from proves it. In this graph, linked by Rogan, this mRNA vaccine has a higher risk, but this is also an mRNA vaccine, and it doesn't have a higher risk. Nor does the AstraZeneca. This study can be used to make choices, but Malone wants to scare you away from all mRNA vaccines by lying. And what about the other data in the study they conveniently didn't want you to see? The study looked at multiple cardiac events. Look at the risk of pericarditis and cardiac arrhythmia from COVID compared to the vaccines. Out of all this, they cherry-picked this. It's very clear that catching COVID poses a very high risk of cardiac events. But that's not all. The people in the COVID group actually includes people that caught COVID whether they were vaccinated or not. This study was not a vaccine versus unvaccinated type of study. So it includes those that were previously vaccinated. Considering vaccines give protection, these numbers should be even higher. And that's not the full story. They are trying to scare people any way they can, and in this case, they're using myocarditis. Let's see what happens if you do get myocarditis. This study shows three groups. The blue are those that just get myocarditis, the red are those that got it from COVID, and the green are those that got it from a vaccine. For those, it clears up very quickly. For the COVID patients, it takes longer to improve and lingers. If you're going to get it, it's pretty clear what group you want to be in. So, in the end, if you are armed with non-cherry-picked full information, it's simple. Young men simply vaccinate with AstraZeneca or Pfizer. That's all. After all, that's what these studies are for, to help make informed decisions. So, where does Joe Rogan go from here? Well, he admits he doesn't do research. This, these podcasts are very strange because they're just conversations. And oftentimes I have no idea what I'm going to talk about until I sit down and talk to people. And that's why some of my ideas are not that prepared or fleshed out, because I'm literally having them in real time. He must do some reading to get his facts, and I'm guessing it mainly consists of reading tweets like this from his guest, Dr. Malone, someone who should know much better. No wonder Rogan got so much flack for having Dr. Malone on his show, and no wonder Dr. Malone got banned from Twitter. In Rogan's latest apology video, he says that he'll make an effort to get guests from both sides of an argument. So my pledge to you is that I will do my best to try to balance out these more controversial viewpoints with other people's perspectives so we can maybe find a better point of view. I don't want to just show the, the contrary opinion to what the narrative is. I want to show all kinds of opinions so that we can all figure out what's going on. That's like having Hitler on as a guest, but for balance, then having the Dalai Lama on. You have to remember that even though you have every right to do so, you still sort of had Hitler on. You know, that's fine if you're talking about sports, because influencing an audience one way or the other isn't a matter of life and death. Not so with COVID. Rogan repeats something he's read, which he doesn't really know is right, but says it with such conviction that it's easy to believe. Sadly, most of the time there isn't someone there to correct him. Let's hope that moving forward, Rogan can do a little more research. Okay, I've linked everything in the description so you can check it for yourself. Let me know in the comments what you think and thanks for watching.